Hello everybody. Welcome back. This is Nobody Real Tests. This is Nobody's Real Tests Horror Review. Now, today I literally just finished watching this movie called The Curse of Sleeping Beauty. And, okay, let's start off. First, it stars Ethan Peck, India, India Isley, Natalie Hall, Bruce Davis, Davison, Scott Allen Smith, and James Adam Lynn. Yes, I'm reading off the Wikipedia page. <laughs> now, once again, okay, this this movie is currently on Netflix. I think it disappeared to, uh, some, in September of this month. <laughs> now, uh, okay, so this movie, <clears throat> okay, so this movie stars this this painter who has uh, sleep paralysis and. Which is, is kind of frightening, actually. I mean, I've had a few, a few issues with that myself. And uh, so one day he just started, starts dreaming about this, this chick, Sleeping Beauty. And he's never able to actually wake her up because he, wake, he stuff usually happens before he kisses her. And, uh, you know, out of the blue, he gets... Uh, he gets a letter from an uncle that he's never met, saying that he inherited a place that a uh, house that he's never been. And uh, yeah, you you see where this is going, you know. <laughs> so he gets he gets to the. I'm not going to spoil anything, but you know he gets to the house, and you know for once he's able to actually kiss Sleeping Beauty, and she actually wakes up and talks to him. Now, if you, if, sorry, I'm just trying not to spoil anything, uh, but I will say this, if you've seen any horror movie or just any movie in general, you know where this movie is headed and you know how it's, how it's going to end. I knew that from, from the, from like the first like 20 minutes of the movie, how it's going to end, but you know, the journey to get there, you know, is always nice to see, but Let's see, the overall review is that it actually starts off pretty scary, like really, really scary. So especially not not really scary, but it's just, you know, disturbing enough to, to keep you interested. Like it's, this is one part with the sleep paralysis and with the lead character and Thomas Kaiser, uh, played by Ethan Peck. Yeah, Peck. <laughs> so, you know, he's asleep and you know this this thing starts crawling up the sheets and all this stuff. it's it's really scary because like I said I don't know if, if anyone's ever had sleep paralysis issues before but you know it's it's really freaking frightening uh, when it does happen. So like I say so uh, it starts off really really good actually like I was I was really watching it and there's this you know any hard movie with mannequins involved is just good enough for me as a Silent Hill fan <laughs> and you know I like the mannequins but you know there was a specific moment in the movie where the movie just kind of started going up like this. And then there was a specific moment where it just ended this goes down here. Like uh, one of the actresses, uh, Linda, played by Natalie Hall, you know, she's, I'm not going to spoil who she is or what she is, but you know, eventually, you know, she needs to meet a old boyfriend. And immediately when you know, they introduced a new boyfriend. He just do music, goofy music playing. And, you know, this government guy who can magically uh, translate, you know, old texts. And it just starts getting it. It it's, it leads away from horror, but it goes to like the I don't know, like sci-fi. I can't. It's not sci-fi, but it's just not. It's not horror. It just it just becomes a movie. You know, like, then it's like slight little comedy in it. You know, the the uh, Linda's you know ex boyfriend or whatever. He becomes like for the few parts that he's in, he becomes a comic relief, and it's it just really took me out of the movie. And and like I said, the ending when they uh. When, when the ending starts, like, during the last 10 minutes of the movie, like, like I said, you already know what's going to happen. You should know if you're actually paying attention and 
a fan of these type of horror movies, you should know what's about to happen. But the uh, Thomas Kaiser, you know, the lead, I mean, the lead character, he's just stupid. Like, <laughs> like any, like, the, okay, when he gets the letter in the beginning of the movie, the uncle, who he's never heard of, clearly says, don't go into this particular area. Then, sure enough, he does. And, yeah, it's just, it's just stupid. <laughs> stupid ending. Uh, and that's another thing. It technically ends... I, I guess it's technically a cliffhanger. Uh, or it doesn't... I don't know. It's, I don't know what they expect from the ending. It's, it's, it's not necessarily... It's a cliffhanger for the most part, but not nothing too big. Because I, I think they were just going for a shock value ending, which... To me, it was, it was like an eye roll, like, like whatever. I don't care <laughs> at this point. But uh, you know what? I will definitely say that overall, though, it's it's a movie to watch at least once. It has a good premise into it, very good premise actually. It just fell apart halfway through. So I I will recommend watching this movie at least once. At least once. It's on it's on Netflix right now. So, uh, yeah, it's good enough for just one, uh, one watch. Like I said, first half of it is really, really good. So I do recommend it to a certain extent. All right, see you guys later. Bye, I hope you enjoy. Like and subscribe. Bye.